welcome back to my channel my name is Susanna my family call me Suzy so you can call me by my channel's name Suzy Global Concept thank you so much for coming back and if you're a new person consider subscribing and let today not be your last time okay so today I'm going to be sharing my experience with you about religion when i get back to my child after six months i started um i resume my case of course i didn't give back at um where i reside i get back at my mother in law side in the village so when i came back i resume work i was selling in the market as a petty business trade okay i was doing a petty business yes i was selling some food items yes so this is my son's hair gets quite easily i myself i have rubber hair a coily hair yes if i lose my hair and leave it for, a, for hours or leave it overnight the hair will shrink the hair will shrink if i think maybe i'll bag my hair yes so it's in my family because even my grandmother has a very coily hair and soft very soft and silky yes in fact and she had a very long hair yes so coily hair is is in my family it's in my family so when I get back to my son, he had a boy hair. In fact, I had to like recombi his hair morning, afternoon, and evening. Because if I comb the hair, just give it like five to ten minutes, the hair will coil back. So when some religious people saw it, they were like, This your son is an evil child that um can't I see that the hair coils like you know he belongs to the people that um, he wants me like to leave his hair to lock of natural hair to become like dreadlock so because there are some people they don't bag their children's from hair from that experience i was shocked in fact i became they so reach like one and um, one to three so years or an adult when they can speak for the themselves world. like okay mommy and daddy please come to bag my hair Yes, there are people like that. In my in my tradition, we don't barb a child's hair until a child completes one year. Yes, it's a tradition. We don't barb a child's hair until the child completes one year at least. Yes. So they told me that um, the child wants his hair to lock naturally, and those people that their hair locks naturally. And become dreadlock, they are not good people. I was shocked. Not one person, not two person. Okay, not from two persons. I was shocked. Like, what kind of belief is this? So, what I not try to tell me that I should throw my son away or what or what? My mother that get back to me or that get back to us. Did she throw us away because our hair coil? Or what kind of belief is that? So that was not enough. That was not enough. So that also reminded me of my experiences when I was in university. I used to sell this local drink. I used to do local drink, this African drink, Pono. I normally used to call it village yogurt because it tastes like yogurt, milk, yes, it's made of grain and so grains and other things, okay? So, when I, I was selling it in the university, because um, that was the only business I was doing and I was able to like make some profit to be able to afford them um, to purchase and hand out some materials and even projects that I was writing. Yes, Panaye project. Okay. So I was selling it in school. As time went by, 
I started taking it to school to sell as well. So they were patronizing me in school. Most times it will finish and it will not even go on in, in church. In church, after church, after church service, I will sell. And sometimes they don't even go on. People will still be asking for money. So as times went by, I had a message from someone that um, the senior pastor sent her, the general overseer of the church, that I should stop selling whatever I am selling. I and one other lady, she was selling pop pop, which is Nigerian pop pop. That we should stop selling things at that church, okay, in church premises. What was the reason? The church offering drop. The church offering drop because people were no longer dropping offering, they were reserving that money to buy these um, snacks at the end of the service. And that was the reason why he said we should stop. So with and so many other experiences that I've had. So I was like, this religion of a thing, is it helping one to grow or is destroying one? It's pulling one down to one. Instead of building me, it's pulling one down. And that was the that is the reason why. I said, I am not a religious person. I believe in the existence of one supreme God. We are all one human being. We are all one, under one supreme God. So thank you so much for your time. Like, share, if possible, and drop a comment on 